Hey all, my name is Kurt. This is Trent. Welcome to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. And as promised, our very first episode of the Buffalo Trace Distillery Review. And Trenton, for this video, I only picked a couple bottles. Seven. <laughs> Seven to be exact. Yes. Think we can get through it? It's going to be rough. Well, luckily, these aren't too high in proof, right? Well, 120 proof. <laughs> that's going to be a rough one. But I saved that for last. Okay. So good. let's see. Now, what I did here, I picked all the budgets right off the bat. Okay, that's what we're starting with. Buffalo Trace budget releases. I thought that'd be a good place to start, right? So what I did is I lined them up in order of proof. I did not line them up in order of cost. Okay. I thought that might be the best as far as our tasting is concerned and our palate. Yeah. So we can be really good on start our Start easy on us palate. and then we'll get trashed at the end. I yeah, like just that. sip real, real carefully on that full proof by the time we get down there. <laughs> So what I have out here for you, buddy, do you even know all these? I know I did not know that Ancient Age was Buffalo Trace. Yeah. I knew about the benchmarks. I didn't yeah. realize that there were so many benchmarks. Yeah. Because I don't see, I don't think there's right. any liquor stores around us that have all of them. Yeah. I think it's like one has top floor, one has the full proof, yeah. and they're all kind of mismatched. But you know, when I was when I was putting all this together, they're getting more and more. And a lot of them had all but one. Or something like that so okay. they're getting more and more of them around our area but right trend you got uh, ancient age benchmark eight um you have uh top floor you have small batch single barrel bonded full proof i'm impressed that you memorized all this yeah i, I, I would I, not have i ran it through my head about a dozen times before you came over i was hoping it stuck it almost got I almost got stuck right in here, but I, I guess it. we'll find out in uh, editing if you <laughs> if you nailed it or not. I hope so. All right, buddy, let's quit messing around. Let's figure this out. Ancient age, eighty proof, and it's like twelve dollars. That's it. Twelve bucks. Now, and is that in our area or is that the one from Arizona? Because I've never seen it in our area. Yeah, that's the bottle from Arizona. Okay. And truthfully, all the prices from the benchmark are I are current in our area. Okay. okay, the that's I looked this up online for MSRP for Ancient Age. Okay, that's what I did for this. I couldn't remember what I paid for in Arizona. So eighty proof though, twelve bucks. I bought one in Arizona. I th yeah, that sounds right. One quick note: this is a uh, mash bill number two. Okay, Buffalo Trace mash bill number two, which is a high rye mash bill. Keep that in mind. You don't get any of that on the nose, which is not wild. on the nose. Mm -mm. Not on the but nose. But you get that sweet Buffalo Trace quintessential. Yeah, you, you, it's definitely a, a sweet nose. It's it's somewhat like it's it's working its way towards the Buffalo Trace nose, right? All right, not uh, not too much going on there in the flavor department. The nose is a lot better than the palate. Correct, a little but bit light for an eighty proofer. Mm -hmm. A little bit light to me. A little vanilla, a little caramel. I don't even get that. Oh yeah, I do <laughs> for sure. But you know, I was tasting these a little bit before you came over, just mm. so I can get the old palate going. Just a t just, a little, just light, a little caramel, a little vanilla. My question to you though is, being 80 proof, do you get that little bit of spice there? I do. I do get because a little bit on a, the back end. Correct, because a yeah. high rye mash bill. So yeah, you, I do get that. It's low proof, but you still get a little bit of the spice with that uh, high rye. So, you know, for a budget 12 bucks, eh, it's not, not bad. bad. Not bad. All right, let's move on. Benchmark eight, it's another 80 proofer. Now, from here on, the rest of these are mash bill number one. Okay. Buffalo Trace, okay. which is the low rye mash bill. So all the benchmark. Okay. Mash bill number one. Well, that smells so much different. Definitely. Mash bill one? Two? One. One. Two is the high rye, was ancient okay. age. These are all mash bill one. I'm still drinking the ancient age. I was like that, that, that. <laughs> I think. You do that to me when I have some in my mouth, bro. Every time. Man, we got a lot of them to go through and you're drinking the same What's one. sad though is I, I think I thought that nose taste smelled different, <laughs> but it was the same glass. That's fun. You'll be all right. You'll be fine. Now to me. This one here, Trent, is another 80 proof and it's $10, okay? I've even seen this in, in, in certain stores for eight or $9. Really? Super cheap. 
it's good. So this one's super cheap. And in my opinion, for eight or nine or ten dollars, I don't know how you can go wrong. I feel I feel a little bit of a stringency, just a little bit on the back end, maybe a tobacco note or charred oak of some sort. I get that. You know, on the back end. <clears throat> but other than that, it's got some a little bit of sweetness up front, but it's it's fairly well rounded. Do you get any like a like a peanut note? Or is that the the, the weird kind of back end? Yeah, that's that what I'm thinking. There. You're getting on the back end. For me, it seems more like a like a like a charred oak type of a of a note. But you could be dead on on that one too. With a little bit. Didn't of we note. do this in a previous video and it ranked very highly? Uh, you know, I don't budget. remember. I know oh. since since we have some missing out of that bottle, I know we've used it now and then. I think we put this in the very first live stream we did. Oh, it's very possible. The budget yeah. one. Yeah, it did do well. Yeah, it did do well. I remember that now. This was recommended by John to us. All right. And that was the first benchmark we bought. So, you know, for 10 bucks, bud, you that's what I'm saying. That's hard to beat. You know, it, it's extremely hard to beat. In my opinion, I, I prefer this one over the Ancient Age. I do as well. You know, yeah. I mean, for a brand new bourbon drinker, Ancient Age isn't a bad idea. Very light flavors, little caramel, little vanilla, you know. Here, here's an introductory pour of, of a little bit of bourbon. Not a bad idea. But moving forward, you know, if somebody that drinks bourbon a little bit, this one here is is, is pretty decent, I think, for 10 bucks. Yeah, that's $10. the price point's what really gets me. All right, I'm gonna move on to top floor. Now, trend this top floor, as the name indicates, it has been aged on the top floor of the Rickhouse. Okay. So that's why. Never had this one. So we will see what happens with this one here. Now, all these are rumored to be aged around three years, so you know, except for the bonded, of course, when we get to that one. But what uh, what's the price on this? Uh, the price on this one, let me think here, top floor is $15. Okay. And it is a little higher proof, it's 86 proof. It's a very strange uh, flavor profile. Mm -hmm. What I find though, for me, and this is a little bit unfair to you because I was able to kind of check these out last few days and you haven't. I find this one to be the flavor profile is completely different than the eight. There's no question yeah. about that. I don't know if that's from being distilled at the top floor, whatever, but it's creamier. Yeah, I can me. get that. It's a little bit more viscous for sure. But for me, on my notes, and I know this is a little unfair because I've, I've had a time to taste these. I'm really only getting a little bit of vanilla and, a, and just maybe a hint of some brown sugar. I can get the brown sugar. I think I might be struggling with the vanilla. Yeah, but. just a hint. Yeah, it's it's a little different. I wouldn't I wouldn't list that as one of my favorites I would, so far. I think I like this better than that, okay. honestly. Yeah. I like the mouthfeel because it is creamier. It is. And this is a little bit thin. I but agree. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah. And it's 80 proof. Yeah, and so you know, there's, kind of there's other options out there for $15. <clears throat> I think that would beat that. Yeah. You know, no problem there. So, okay, moving on down, small batch, all right? This one's 90 proof, and it comes in at $17. Okay. All right, 90 proof. Whoa. Nice nose, huh? That's a crazy that's a, nose. That's a butterscotch nose to me. Okay, yep. I don't like butterscotch. Yes, but that's, that's like butterscotch candy, like Werther's. That, okay. That's Werther's yeah, you, candy you, right you there. You that on the head, because yeah. I was like, what is that? I don't like it, but, I mean, it doesn't huh. smell terrible. <laughs> I like it. That is a very well balanced. It is. Now, I, truthfully, the last couple of days, Trent, I really didn't get the butterscotch, and I didn't really check much of the nose on, on any of these, to tell you the truth. But to me, right up front, I get a little bit of that butterscotch, but it kind of fades away in a little bit of a vanilla and cinnamon type thing. I'm curious, though, if you pick up a little bit of honey on that. Uh, something sweet. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's definitely a sweet profile, for sure. I like it. Is butterscotch usually sweet? Oh, heck yeah, man. Are you kidding me? I don't like it, so I don't know. Oh, man, oh, man. Uh, I could get a little, like that honey funk, almost like a rum funk, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. Different. Note. I don't know. To me, honey has like a funk, but I like it. <laughs> Weird. Okay. <laughs> To me, I thought it was better though than the top floor. Uh, yeah, yep. You know, to me, it was better than the top floor. I thought it was. It's it's fairly sweet. 
doesn't really have much of a bite at all. Extremely no. smooth. Really nice. Really nice for $17. All right, pal. What do we got next? We got... Uh, it's good, whatever it is. Single barrel. All right, single barrel's next. What you, is that? The, the, this one. The thanks. <laughs> got a lot going on up here. There's too many. <clears throat> too many. Single barrel. 95 proof. But this one's like 22 bucks. As you might expect for a single barrel. Yeah. But and I have my thoughts on that here. Let's get a sip though. The nose Correct. is solid. Correct. 95 proof. Oh, you know, not bad. I'd, I'd drink it. Daily. You definitely get it, there's, there's some sweetness there. Yeah. There's definitely an oak note there, for sure, for me. It, to me, it's almost like the small batch without the butterscotch. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's just a, maybe a little bit bolder since it's like yeah. five five higher proof. I can't see yeah. it. Five proof more. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can get that. I can get that. I get a tiny hint of cherry there too, just a little bit. But here's my thing. Here's my thought though. All right. 22 bucks. I can go out and buy mm -hmm. Evan Williams 1783. For twenty bucks, that's a tough one to compete. And with. it's just like you, you, this is now reaching into Wild Turkey one hundred and one, Old Forester one hundred. It's dipping into that cost of a bunch of solid a other bunch ones. Bunch of great budgets. bottles. Yeah. Does it compare? Absolutely not. No. In my mind. Now, in our tasting, it's pretty decent, but I'm speaking specifically on price. Yeah. To me, it's absolutely not worth it for $22. I think this is my favorite so far, but the price, I wish it was more like $18, $19. Mm -hmm. But I okay. mean, for two for two buck extra, I'm not going to be a stickler about it. I'd drink yeah. it for that much, but yeah. I'd mean, rather have a, a Nevin Williams 1783 sure. or a Wild Turkey sure. 101 or sure. other things like and that. And that's where we're getting at, so <clears throat> be that as may. All right. Bonded? Yep, bonded. So as we know, bonded, if it is bonded, it has to be aged at least four years. Okay, and it has to be 100 proof. Now we're going back down in the price ledger just a little bit. It's going to be $18 in my area for this bonded bottle here. I almost get butterscotch again on the nose. It is. I, I and exactly what was I was going to say too. I love that. Like a creme brulee kind of thing going on. Nice. And I've never even had a creme brulee, but that makes sense when I say it. Like a custard yeah. creme brulee, butterscotch. My Mima used to make a butterscotch pie. It was a cream pie. Oh! Pie's horrible. That was good, dude. That was really good. Uh, all right. Wait. Pie's horrible. Pie's horrible. Who are you? I don't even know who you are. Pie's horrible. What's wrong with that kid? I don't think I've ever had a pie in my life. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I don't intend to either. Okay. Looks too goopy. <laughs> wow. You know what, buddy? I, I gotta say something. I, I I really don't prefer this one. I'm not a fan. I gotta be You're honest. You're not either? Okay, I wanna hear I wanna hear your thoughts. It's it, it the flavors are bold, but they're harsh flavors. It's like tobacco, like burnt. You don't get sugar. a lot of sweetness. There's you know? really no sweetness in it. Mm -hmm. I would have expected for being age next year that you'd get a little bit more of like an oak mm. but i don't know right. if it's like a tannic oak but it's I, to me i'm getting a little cardboard you know how i am with cardboard it's like cardboardy a little bit to me on the taste on the back end and end of the finish i gotta say i would not um, uh yeah i wouldn't that, buy this no I, honestly that's uh and i'm glad you feel that way because i felt that way going into this video yeah but you know you'd always be honest regardless you'd probably revel in it if you're different than me actually you know i would i know you would but that's to me that's the worst one of the bunch it is to me it just doesn't seem that the flavors just don't seem to jive and it's just a little bit awkward and a little bit cardboardy it's the best i can say yeah it uh that's unfortunate All i right. had high hopes because i love bonded stuff I know. usually and, and you would think Aged four years, a little bit more, you know, yeah. supposedly these were aged three years, a little bit more, you know, be a little bit better. Something went drastically wrong Something. in the extra aging yeah, uh, that I, this had. I don't know. I can't figure it out, but it's it's definitely not my favorite. That's all I can say about that. Rough. All right, we're going to get into your favorite, which you've talked I'm about here. I'm getting butterscotch on this too, man. <laughs> He's been poured a little I didn't, I didn't, he come. I didn't stick one of those Werther's butterscotch Woo! candies in my nose before this either. That's lovely. 
full proof. All right, it says full proof is 125 proof, Buy and it. it is uh, 19 dollars. That's less it. 19 dollars. Turn that. Wait, the, the bond is 18. Bond is 18. Make the upgrade if you're going to get something yeah. like this. Holy smokes. This is, the nose is spectacular. And this was poured probably a half hour, 45 minutes before you came over. Wow, that's... Mm. That's insane. For a $19 foolproof, three-year-old. Guys, this is really good. It really is, and it's... We all know, foolproof, you're gonna get all the great flavors that are in that barrel. It's gonna be more pronounced, which it is. Yep. The flavors are more pronounced, but it's extremely balanced and has some great chocolate note in there. I know I said that to you on the live show too, where we had this out here yeah, too, but to me, I, I get still that. get that. I do. Some beautiful chocolate in there, some toffee note or something like that with some baking spice, so, and that's what gives it that depth. Yep. You know, and it's really, really good. Really wow. good. Best so, one. Best one. Go buy it. $19. $19. So, if you can find it. I don't know how readily available this right. is in other areas, but for us, yeah. I can find it now in droves anywhere. My opinion, Buffalo <clears throat> Trace, we're starting out with their budget releases. Okay, this is all on their website, every one of these. I have to say I'd prefer this ancient age even over, even over the bonded. Yeah. I mean, I, I just, so Bonded has to be my worst choice of the bunch. I agree. That's you know, not good. If it's not yours, I apologize for that, but it's just, it's just not that good. I would completely stay away from the, from that Bonded, especially in that price range. Now, other than that, Trenton, what do you got as far as, of course, I know your favorite's the foolproof. Yeah. $19, but other than that, what you got? I think for the money, like this is really solid. Eight, nine, ten bucks. You can't go wrong with that. How can you go wrong with that? I agree yeah. with him on that. You do get a little bit of astringency or tobacco oil on the back end, but still, eight, nine, or ten dollars. Go ahead. Um, single barrel and small batch to me were kind of hand in hand, and then uh, uh, what's the other one? Top floor wasn't a huge fan of the top floor. I have to, be to honest. agree. I have to agree I, with that. That would too. probably be like behind the bonded for me, right? And then the ancient age. Sure. The I don't know where I'm pointing at. The small batch and the single barrel are kind of neck and neck, and then the full proof for me is, sure. is number one. And I think that's <clears> solid. <throat> I really do. I yeah. think it does a great job on you. Uh, as far as the best deal of the bunch, how can you beat Benchmark 8 for 8 9 or 10 bucks? Best deal of the grouping to me as far as the least money. Yeah. You know? But how I guess I worded that wrong because really this full proof is the best deal for the money for $19. But for 8 9 or $10, this is really remarkable that they were able to come up with that flavor profile for that kind of money in my opinion and i'm 100 yeah. like with you the bonded you know and the top floor just didn't really do it for me ancient age is what it is very light flavors excellent to put somebody visits your home and you want to put a little bit of bourbon in front of them i've never had it before here try this you know that's okay yeah, excellent but <clears throat> single barrel small batch same as you pretty decent all in the mix so but this full proof is dynamite for the money yeah so hey that's what we have for you today on the buffalo trace budget you know budget releases solid i mean all solid other than one in our opinion that <laughs> yeah. just wasn't so great so didn't cut, the, cut the mustard <laughs> right so for the most part though hey really looking forward to the next show we're going to break out the blantons the eagle rare the stag jr the good stuff the buffalo trace we're going to get some great conversations, but me personally, so far, very impressed with their lower end lineup. Yep. You? Oh, yeah. 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 All right. Don't miss next show. It'll be coming up on Monday. Don't miss it. We'll, we'll keep going with this Buffalo Trace Distillery Review until we're done. As always, ask you to please drink responsibly. We'll see you next time right down here with the both of us in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.